projectile motion series 2157 mnm quiz 2157 welcome to he can help.com again we have the initial velocity vector of 40 meters per second at what angle with respect to horizontal 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal assume no air resistance assume positive x is defined as 2 to the right positive y is vertically up a projectile is launched at 40 meters per second. The initial velocity vector makes an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal. What is the magnitude of the velocity vector after 2 seconds? Our trajectory is as shown. After two seconds, let's assume that it is at this point B. So this is point A at the start. At point B, we need the horizontal X and we need the vertical Y. Horizontal X and vertical Y. Once you have the X and the Y components at point B, then the magnitude of the velocity vector is given by just V is equal to square root of vx squared plus vy squared. The x component of the velocity vector is very simple because it is the same as what we had at the start. The x component is not affected by acceleration due to gravity which is 100% along the vertical. This is positive x and this is positive y. So because of that reason our horizontal component is 40 cosine 60 and that is 20 meters per second. And what is that? 40 cosine 60, and that is 20 meters per second. 20 meters per second. So please don't forget, here is our vector, and this is our x component, this is our y component. This is x, and this is y. This is 60, and this is 40. This is at the very start. Immediately you see cosine 60 equals vx over hypotenuse which is 40 from which we get vx equals 40 cosine 60. So this is at the start. So you had to put zero v0x, v0y, v0x at the start. Similarly you get sine 60 is equal to v0y over 40 or we get v0y equals 40 sine 60. We have the initial vertical component of the velocity vector. We have the initial horizontal component of the velocity vector. And from that, we can get the vertical component of the velocity vector after two seconds. How do we get that? Go back to the definition of acceleration. Acceleration is change of velocity, change of vertical velocity divided by time. Final vertical velocity, we don't know. Initial vertical velocity, 40 sine 60. And that whole thing divided by 2. And what is acceleration? Negative 9.8. Cross multiply, you get negative 19.6 equals Vy minus 40 sine 60. Add 40 sine 60 to both sides and we get Vy is equal to 15.04. 15.04 and we have Vx which is just 20. What is the unit? Meters per second. What is the unit? Meters per second. So again let's let's just review what we did. Acceleration along the vertical equals final vertical component of the velocity vector minus initial vertical component of the velocity vector divided by time. Initial vertical component of the velocity vector is 40 sine 60. Final vertical component we don't know. Acceleration along the vertical, negative 9.8. Time is 2. Substitute and cross multiply. And what do we get? So you get Vy is equal to 15.04. This is the vertical component of the velocity vector after 2 seconds. So it is on its way up. What is the x velocity? 20. What is the y velocity? The y component is 15.04. You have x and y, you can find the magnitude. v is equal to square root of vx squared plus vy squared. 
The horizontal component never changes. It is 40 cosine 60 and that is 20. So that is 20. So Vx is 20, Vy is 15.04, square 20, square 15.04, add and then take square root. Please take square root. If you don't take square root, then you get a wrong answer. Please take the square root. So what is the magnitude of our speed? Of our velocity, 25.02 meters per second always supporting you and standing by you until you succeed. Good luck.